Hello, hello, y y y YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. Please listen to me very, very, very closely. Have you ever worked in public? And and during your time working in public, no matter how long ago or recent it's been, have you ever had a problem with someone coming up to you? while you're on duty at work no matter what your position is trying to be funny calling you crazy saying it's morning when it's evening or evening when it's morning have you ever have you ever had trouble with people coming up to you saying things trying to be funny that have either scared you ticked you off got on your nerves or made you mad has anyone ever come up to you when you've been mad, worried, or or scared up, and said, "Hey, buddy, you're about as crazy as I am." Or 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 has anybody ever come up? Has anybody ever ever come up? To, has anybody ever come up, come come up to you at three in the afternoon and said, "Hey, buddy, morning, morning." Or or has anybody ever has anybody ever come up to you at eight at eight or nine a.m. and said? Hey, buddy, evening, evening, good evening, good evening. And yet, they know it's morning time. Has anybody ever come up to you and said something like, Hey, buddy, you're crazy, or, 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 or have they said or done anything else stupid? Just, just trying to be funny to you. Well... Let me tell you, it's it's been a long time ago since that's happened to me. But in my three plus years of working at Walmart, that that used to happen to me every day of my life. There was a there was a season in there, almost almost a year or two ago, when 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 people would come in and come up to me trying to be funny. One guy jokingly called me crazy. One guy jokingly called me crazy and he thought that was the most funny thing on earth. But, but, as he left Walmart that day, that day was when I was still working at the uh, entrance door. As he, as he left that day, he left out the entrance door and I said, buddy, you're an idiot. And I said, buddy, I am I am going to dread seeing you from now on. And even though I have never seen him since, but I but I saw him almost every day or every week before he jokingly called me crazy. But since he called me crazy, to my knowledge I have never seen him since. Ever since that day I have been I have been either worried, concerned, scared, afraid, or, or terrified, depending on what mood I was in, or, or, or if there was anything else bothering me, or not, but, but even, even when I have been in the best mood ever, nothing bothering me, nothing worrying me whatsoever, it, even, even when nothing else was bothering me, worrying me, taking me off, or making me mad, or scaring me in any shape, form, or fashion, I have, I have been standing at, at, at my post at Walmart for months on end, at my former post at Walmart for months on end, thinking to myself, worried and concerned, that someone, not specifically him, but I've been worried or concerned, that someone, no one, no one, in particular, I've been concerned that someone, not someone specific, I've been afraid that someone would try to come up to me and, 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 and call it evening when it's morning or call me crazy or say something stupid to me or, or about me that would make me mad, scare me, tick me off, or get on my nerves. I have afraid, I've, I have been afraid that people would tr try to come up and and say something that they think was funny that would either offend me, scare me, make me mad, or tick me off.
or even aggravate or worry me. Well, I just, I just found out that the day, the day that I made this video, that, that the woman who used to be my direct supervisor, she, she came up to me today and, and, and we started talking And, and, and I just talked to her about that because you see, she and I, she and I both changed positions as, as well as everyone else who used to be a people greeter at Walmart. They got rid of all the people greeters at every Walmart store to my knowledge, to my understanding. And, and the woman who was manning the service desk was my direct supervisor shh, shh. until today I thought that she was still at her post as a supervisor well she and I she and I got to talking about about how well I like my new job at my new post ever since 2015 I was a people greeter at the entrance Walmart door and sometimes at the garden center door most of the time I was at the front entrance door I was I was talking to her about how I like my new job at my position and 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 that's when she told me that she was no longer a CSM which is a customer service manager she she told me that that, that that she wanted a new position and that she's now a cashier. Well, well, I told her, I said, ma'am, Sharon, I like my new position, but listen, when I was over there at the entrance store, which is right across from w where I go to to work now, I said, Sharon, when I was over there at the, when I was over there at the entrance store, when I, when I first started at the entrance store there was a long time maybe maybe one to two years at least when almost every day or every week I said Sharon almost every day or every week my first year or two here at Walmart people used to come in to me come in Walmart and talk to me calling me crazy trying to be funny saying stupidness talking to me talking to me just trying to be funny and I said Sharon oh over half over half the jokes that I have ever heard here at Walmart have either, I said over half the jokes that I've ever heard here at Walmart have either offended me, burdened me, worried me, made me mad, ticked, ticked me off, scared the crap out of me, or got on my nerves. I said, I said, Sharon, even though they have stopped that a long time ago, ever, ever since I I came over here last month to the self checkout. I said, Sharon, even though not, I said, even though no one has come up to me trying to be funny like that since I came over here to manning the self checkout to be in the self checkout host, no one has done that to me since I've been over here. But every day in the back of my mind, I thought to myself, oh, Gosh, I hope no one comes up to me and does that. I hope no one comes up to me trying to be funny and says something that either offends, ticks me off, scares me, makes me mad, or gets on my nerves. I said, Sharon, I, I said, Sharon, I cannot tell you how, how, how many days, how many weeks, how many months I have stood there at my post working at the front entrance door to Walmart, helping, praying, and being nervous, scared, or concerned. That, that someone would come into Walmart saying something or, or doing something trying to be funny that that would either that would either scare make me mad get on my nerves or tick me off and I said Sharon I, I, I would have talked to you about this before but I have had a strong fear of authority for years and then 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 after I told her that that's 
that's when she that's when she told me that's that that she's just a cashier now and and she said Blake don't worry if if that ever happens again come to me and I'll go with you to management and help you talk to him and I said Sharon and and I said Sharon one time s someone came up, came up to me a long time ago over at the entrance store and he said hey buddy you're about as crazy as I am and I said Sharon that really made me mad ticked me off made me worry and got on my nerves and then that's when she said Blake don't worry if that ever happens again come to me and I'll go with you and talk to management she said she said Blake Blake if that ever happens again just go in talk to management and and I asked her if she would go with me if that ever happens again and and she said she absolutely would and YouTube viewers now like I said that that one guy coming up to me a long time ago jokingly calling me crazy that guy had me so scared to death for reasons I'd rather not go into about him about him going back in Walmart and and and, and saying something or doing something to be funny I was so scared for months on end that that he would come that he would come back into Walmart and say something or do something that would scare me kick me off make me mad or get on my nerves YouTube 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 viewers that is one of the reasons not the only reason that is one of the reasons I have made so many videos about fear YouTube viewers if if you have fear and you want to watch one of them just go to youtube or the youtube app type in my name and then type in fear type in b-l-a-k-e B -L -A -K -E space f-a-n-n-i-n space f-e-a-r that's all you have to do to watch them but anyway <clears throat> youtube youtube the viewers if you if you ever have any 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 problem like that where you work if you ever have any type of problem like that where you work don't sit and 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 worry about that for months on end like i did don't be concerned don't be worried over it read isaiah 41 Isaiah 50, 53 and 54 and first John chapters 1 and 4 Mark 11 and Matthew 5 through 7 and 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 then ask the Lord ask ask Jesus ask ask God to to take away that fear that you have Ask him to give you peace, and then, if you need to, ask him to help you find someone who, who you're comfortable enough around at work, to talk to, about problems like that, about problems of, of any kind, about problems of any kind, but especially problems like that. Ask him to help you find someone else. Ask him to help you find someone who can help you handle that problem. If you have a problem, of, if you have, if you have a problem of any kind, but especially of the kind that I had at work, especially if it's something like the problem that I had at work, after reading the verses I mentioned, ask him to help you find someone who who can who who you can have enough confidence in to help you with with that problem. If if you if you have a fear of authority read mark 11 and first john chapters 1 and 4 and then ask him ask him to remove that fear of authority 
Ask him to remove fear of police, teachers, principals, management, or your bosses. And then ask Jesus himself. Ask the Holy Spirit himself if he will if he will go with you when you talk to whoever you need to talk to about who whoever has said has about whoever has said anything to you that has bothered you in any shape, form or fashion. Then also ask him to help you find someone someone else who can go with both of you too. Ask him to help you find someone who you can have enough confidence in to talk to about all your fears or, pro or problems at school and or work. And then after, after you've found that person, tell them about what happened. Tell them, also tell them when it happened, how long ago it happened, and ask them what they need to, ask them what they think you should do. Then go with them. Although, if, if you're in school, that should be someone older, like a teacher, maybe maybe your favorite teacher, teacher's aide, or or substitute teacher, or teacher's aide. Maybe that's my suggest suggestion. Then talk to them about it, and 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 then go up to your teacher, principal, boss, or manager, and and and. Tell them every detail, every detail about your problem. Because listen, that, that fear with that customer wasn't on my mind all the time, but I cannot, t I cannot tell you how many times a week or how many times a month or how many times for the past year or two I have stood at the entrance door at Walmart and I have been worried, concerned, and scared to death in some cases, depending on what else was bothering me or on my mind. I've been scared to death, mad, worried, or ticked off in some cases, thinking all day long, thinking all morning long, even on my break, thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I hope no one comes in here trying to be funny and says something that either makes me mad, that either makes me mad, worries me, ticks ticks me off or gets on my nerves. YouTube, YouTube viewers, as far as I'm concerned, that that problem is taken care of now. But I I am just doing this video for you to help to help you in case you have that problem too. Now if if you're afraid if you're afraid you won't be forgiven some of something that you've said or done, read Lamentations 3 and 1 John chapter 1, up to verse 9, up to verse 9 at least. And then before before you tell any you tell anyone else, ask God to help you too with every detail of this issue. Whatever's bothering you, worried you, ticked you off, or made you mad, or whatever's on your mind. And, and, then, listen. If, if, if someone comes up to you and says something, trying to be funny, that either makes you mad, ticks you off, makes you worry, or, or get on your nerves, just tell them flat out. You don't think that's funny, and, 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 you're you're gonna report them, report them to your boss and or teacher. And and then say to them, if you if you think that's funny, go joke with someone else. Leave me alone. I never have liked it. Don't bother me with those jokes again. Say, don't bother me with those jokes again. That's not funny. If you do, I'm gonna report you to whoever. So, you, YouTube, YouTube viewers, I hope this video helps you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below and please like, share, and subscribe.